Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Diablo 3 build video. In this video, I'd like to share with you my uh, Barbarian Will World build uh, for uh, Season 23 on Hardcore. Uh, basically, I just uh, finally got to uh, beating the Greater Rift 100, and I'm also rank 100. What a coincidence! Uh, but this is on the Xbox, by the way. Uh, I still haven't figured out how to check it across all platforms or something like that. Uh, but anyway, let's start wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so I'm Paragon, uh, level 748, and uh, a little roadmap for this video is I'm going to quickly show you the inventory, uh, the skills, Paragon, and Follower, okay? So you can pause the video uh, at any time to see the attributes. I'm not going to go into a lot of details over there as I'm still trying to figure out what is the best combination for my playstyle, uh, but you do you, you know? <laughs> Alright, so uh, we I got two sets. Uh, the first one are the weapons, right, with green gems installed. Uh, yeah, so this really helps with uh, fury generation. So I always need to have my fury above 90% so I can benefit uh, from other uh, like legendary effects, uh, essentially for my defense. So I'm going to show you that once I get the skills. Uh, and essentially uh, also increases by 45% at the attack speed and movement speed, which is really nice. So for the armor set, I'm using the Wrath of the Wastes, uh, so uh, the entire set, I don't have the ring to which minuses, I used to have it, but it turns out the another ring is better. <laughs> Alright, so uh, once again, you can pause the video at any time to view the attributes. My personal, like, I want really, really is resist to all elements. So I even have my gems to resist to all elements. Uh, for the helmet, for that additional uh, XP is always nice. <laughs> Alright, for the amulet, uh, this uh, helps me to prevent f taking fire damage and heal yourself for 13% uh, of the amount prevented. Uh, for the legendary gems, if you watched my um, previous video that I did with this build, uh, which I actually changed around, I didn't change the legendary gems, although I do plan to play around with a few. So the first one is uh, Taihook. Uh, gain, uh, I'm gonna 5% increase damage for 1.5 seconds when you spend resource on chaining skills. This effect can stack up to 10 times and gain 2% of increased armor every stack. So basically what I'm doing this, if you pay attention to the left uh, corner, you'll see that in yang thing going up to 10. So this has increased my uh, defense, etc. Alright, uh, then we go so for the wrists, I haven't changed it. Uh, the Berserker gains effect of every single rune. Very nice. Uh, the ring, Convention of Elements. Actually, this is freaking dope. Uh, gain 90%, 190% increased damage for a single element for 4 seconds. This is non Basically, it rotates and deals a like I sometimes for out of nowhere deal a lot of damage. I believe that's because it, it switches to the correct element and uh, I'm still trying to figure out how I can take full advantage out of this ring. But it's powerful. I, I tested it different times and I've seen that my DPS has dropped if I take it off. Uh, for the gem I've got the Molten uh, Wild Beast uh, Gizzard. Gee, oh. Uh, so it's also ranked 91. It gives uh, health regeneration per second and also gives me a shield la uh, based on my life per second. So 200% out of everything that I have, including other stats. By the way, this is another uh, attribute that I seek to put on my things, but I might be actually removing this uh, legendary gem and replacing it with something else. I still can't figure out what. Uh, so the Zodiac, uh, really good ring because it helps me with my cooldown. So uh, reduce the remaining cooldown of one of your skills by one second every time you hit with a resource spending attack. So I can pretty much trigger my Berserker all the time. Uh, over here, there's nothing important. So we got the shoes over here as well. And some of them don't have the best uh, attributes. And uh, the final one is the belt. So basically this one uh, works with rent. So rent can now stock up to 
two times on the enemy and damage of threat is increased by 147 percent because now we're moving to skills I take advantage of combo pride which attacking with whirlwind also applies rend and the total rend damage is dealt over one second so rend is my main damage dealer with the whirlwind uh, then I got Aquila Crisis. Uh, while above 90% primary resource, all damage taken is reduced by 50%. Very nice. And the uh, Band of Might. After casting, uh, well, in my case, it's Stomp Leap. I get 80% reduced damage for 8 seconds. Also very nice. Uh, for my passives, I've got the uh, Nerves of Steel for like since I'm playing on hardcore I don't want to die man in this season I died only twice so far thank god <laughs> I don't know if I die again I'm gonna give up and wait for season 24 or maybe just do another character we'll see so also survivability another survivability really nice uh, for damage and uh, uh, damage although I might change this one by the way, I keep forget I always want to change this thing. I keep forgetting. Uh, leap, 180 uh, percent, basically 150 additional armor for four seconds after landing. So this I use all the time because it increases my uh, defense and it helps me to stay alive. So if I'm boom, so I got it to a 900 million with my defense, right? So I use it pretty much all the time whenever I can if I don't forget and usually like on higher uh, GRs I I try to always use it so I don't die. If I, cause if I stop I'm just gonna I take a lot of good damage but not in seconds. Anyway, Whirlwind uh, Fury for one enemy struck because I need to have my uh, Fury on top top as many times. I tried to replace it with the Volcanic thing but my fury was going down faster for some, uh, like down below 90% for some reason, which I can't have because I need that, uh, what is that, 50% reduction. Although I'm still going to need to play around. By the way, I am new to Diablo 3, so if you got any suggestions, tips, and tricks, feel free to comment down below. Always welcome and always read the comments. So uh, then we got Rend. Rend. Turns out I still benefit from this rune, the blood bath, even though I don't even use the skill. I use it time to time, but uh, still damage dealer. So uh, ground stomp uh, pulls the enemies to me, so I can deal and like inflict damage to more targets and have my reduction skills going faster because with it. it wait, did I misunderstand something? Hold on. Cooldowns when you hit with oh yeah I got it right so the more enemies I hit the faster that thing uh, regenerates so yeah bam 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 and berserker essentially is done so this is how my paragon is looking like the follower man the follower I feel like an idiot man <laughs> I was trying to keep him alive but turns out I didn't read when I was looting these the follower item and if you're new like me if you find your follower cannot die take it because <laughs> now this, I benefit all the time he doesn't die and, and my entire problem I was trying to find a solution to is being solved and uh, some set pieces over here also emanates I missed out on that one some of the pieces like this one is useless so I'm going to replace that so these are the skills helmet broken it actually works I get more gems so I'm still farming those gems and nemesis braces basically uh, shrines or pylons will now uh, spawn an enemy champion really must have on uh, GRs alright so that is pretty much it right right let's go on tango this time I actually might gonna be trying to come and Try not to die. All right. Oof. Last time I got. Some... Oh. Okay. Oh wait. Skills. The shout. Right. Increases armor and resistance. My bad. Forgot about that one. Okay. No. 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 Thank you. Actually, I'm 
let's go. I need those things that boost my damage. Do I have an elite here? Yeah, I don't have it. So far, so good. My shield barrier is still there. Oh yeah, I did forget to mention the other uh, gems. I'm sorry, I'm still getting used to making videos for Diablo. So the other ring is over here is Bane of Sticking. Most of you already know what that does. <laughs> My bad. This is just man, this game is so massive. Like, I still need to have a lot to learn. <laughs> but as I said before in the previous video. I love Diablo games. Like Diablo 2 is my favorite one. And I just recently rejoined Diablo 3 and find seasons really interesting. Although I wasn't a big fan when this game first came out. <laughs> well, for a while I was, but then. Like uh, let's go find elites. Blast. Uh, so far, so good. If it wasn't for my defense, man, I would be dead by now. Although uh, I fear that later on, I'm gonna have to lower my defense for more DPS otherwise I won't be able to do the rift like proceed man my shield is still not up I must not get hit for 4 seconds for it to go back up That 100k uh, regen per second is very nice. Ouch! It's weird. Something feels off. They usually don't take so long. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't have those things. Those white orbs. Don't even know how to call them. To get some. so good. I'm trying to see how far I can go without 
argumenting or how's that thing? The gems and putting them inside my armor because those are pretty tough to get. First, you need to level them, and then you also need. Uh, there you go. To spend more gems. By the way, uh, if you can provide some feedback in regards to future videos, should I spend so much time explaining the build or no? Because these videos, man, they turn out to be pretty long. Oh, there's one more. The first time I did this thing, I was quick. Yeah, my DPS, I need to do something more about it. I don't know. We'll see what I'm gonna come up with later. But yeah, definitely need to start leveling those gems. This we should get the final dude. The Rift Guardian. The Rift Guardian. Hey, I forgot who he is. The final dude. <laughs> This is where I'm gonna start upgrading my gems. It looks like. Or try to do something with my DPS. By the way, I'm actually gonna do that 
also I'll have the chance to play around with some other gems and see how they will go. Alright, so what we got here? 99. Perfecto. I am returning to town. Well, yeah, that's not the best result. <laughs> the first time I did it, I did it faster than. Although I had like three critical moments <laughs> the first time I did it, I thought, man, that's it, it's gonna be the end. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright, did we get anything good? Flying dragon was this? Monk. Anyway, Z Clan and everybody else, thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So if you got some positive, negative feedback, whichever, feel free to comment. The only thing I ask of you is not to swear. And once again, thanks all for watching. If you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so I have from Ukraine. I'll see you on the next video. Bye. From the...